follow up from the previous video on the lungs and I'm going to show how I segment the liver in the same data set. So I've already windowed and leveled the image to show what I think is the uh, best uh, window and level settings for the liver. So you can see here again that's how I do that. I think that's pretty good. So I'll go back to snake. I've already done this previously so the, I put the ROI nicely around the liver in all three um, in all three views. So once you're happy with that setting press the segment 3D. I also have to set this up to do liver and all labels. Okay, segment 3D. Now do pre-process the image on the intensity region according to the intensities. Again, I've already done, I have already um, previously did the uh, intensity selection for this particular data set, so it comes up nicely already for me. But in, in the point is, the main point to show here is I'm using threshold above, uh, below and above. Okay, and I've put the smoothness all the way up to 10. Okay. <coughs> so that's done. Just look next, and I use 5 radius about, approximately 5. That's good. And I'll put in 10 bubbles. 1, 2, 3, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Now before I so I'm going to click next. Before I run this, I'm going to click set parameters. Force 0.2, curvature force uh, 0.4 for balloon, and 0.2 for curvature works pretty well. Okay, now I'm going to change the display to show the grayscale. I just prefer to look at the grayscale. And I can see my balloons nicely already. All right, I'll pick a good slice to watch this thing grow on. Preferably a slice in each plane where there's a lot of liver. And when the, when the pixels are done filling, I'll press stop. So here I go. Some bleeding, but that's expected. I'm going to let this go for a little while. That's good enough. Okay, so some bleeding, but not, not too bad. I got into the heart a little bit there. Okay, so I'm going to press finish. Update the mesh. There it is. It's pretty nice. Yeah, that's actually really nice. Okay. Still need some manual work, but now I'm going to save this right away. Segmentation, save. It's the same file that I had before. Okay. Now I can... <coughs> what I do typically now is I will put the label opacity all the way down, and I'll write on, a, on an Excel spreadsheet. I'll look at the limits where I see the liver in each view. So in this view, coronal, I see liver coming up. So here's a liver here. Here's a liver here. Liver, it's liver's lobes extend down past the kidney here. So I want to see the extent of the number, the slice numbers in each plane. That's, this is just how I do it. I think it makes this a little faster. So I want to see here. Okay, that's some liver, some, some, some. So let's say, let's just make it easy. So from slice 100 is the top, the highest number slice. And let's see, where does the liver disappear? Pretty, sub no, a little bit of subjectivity there, right? Where does it disappear? Some here, you can help, you can use others, other views even. So, I'd say right around is a little bit here. So I'd say 25 to 100 in this view. Okay, so, and the reason I do that is now I write that down in my Excel sheet. So I know from slice 25 to 100, I have liver in the coronal view. So now if I make the label what opacity high, 
I can just go to slice 24. Okay, there's no, oh, there's some liver. Okay, that's fine. And I can go all the way to 100. And if there's anything, any blue pixel above slice number 100, which there isn't, okay, then I could have just erased it to make sure I have no spurious pixels outside of the range where the liver really is. And I do the same exercise for both, uh, all three views. So that's just to get rid of pixels that may have bled outside uh, of the range of the actual, where the, where the liver is, is in the image. <clears throat> okay, so now what I would do is just go through one at a time. I typically like to keep up all three views at the same time, um, even while I'm looking at pixels that have bled out. Okay, here there's some pretty pretty clear, clearly bleeding, clear bleeders, I guess you could call them. So here I'll go to the round tool, make that much smaller. Okay, any clear, and I want to make sure I'm drawing over, only over the liver. I don't want to clear the lung as I clear the liver. Okay, and I repeat this, and I just clear all these, keep going. A little bit of bleeding there. Yes, bleeding into, the, also I see a mistake in the, in the lung there. But that's bleeding into the heart, actually. Okay, so I repeat this exercise until I get all these bleeders done. And I can also check them. I can update the mesh too, right? And I can check to see. I can check for bleeding here as well. And remember when I say bleeding, I mean pixels that have bled into what regions they're not supposed to be. So I can see one here, right? So if I zoom in nicely. Here's the lung, which lobe I'm not sure right now, but I can tell just by looking at this that this particular, this little liver segment is likely a piece that has bled in. So I'm going to use the 3D toolbox pointer and I'm going to click right on that and that'll bring me right to where the pixels are that I want to erase. I can erase those nicely. That's why it's good to have all four views up at once. Now I can update the mesh unfortunately I don't know of a way to keep the view here as you update it. It always goes back to this view as far as I know. <coughs> and that's how I go about this. So I want to repeat going through, getting rid of the bleed, the pixels that have bled out. Uh, also, if I see any holes, any, any pixels that were not filled in the liver, I want to fill those in. So for example, you know, there's, let's see if I can find some here. It's pretty good. You know, these tiny ones, it's not going to make a big difference, but like something like this, we can just fill that in by doing liver, all labels, just fill in those like that. And I would do that on all three planes. Okay, so I won't finish this, but that, that's the general idea. Thank you.